that many a time. It's always a good time. Got a pretty loaded Act 1 here. I like um, Fire Elite, Fire Elite, Fire. It's also this path. Especially against Hexaghost, I'm liking the boss swap more and more. Let's try some some boss swaps versus the ghost. See how this works for us. Well, that's always a good one to see. Um, I seem to have really good luck in getting Snekawai swaps on Clad, especially, which is pretty cool. I like that. Hopefully we get to go this way. We'll see. Starting Steko on Clad, we just want to pick up a couple of high-cost cards. Big attacks or something. There's quite a few options for the Ironclad. Might lose some health in the early fights if our draws are unlucky. But there's no assurance that they will be. Sneko Clads, how you did your one relic achievement. Definitely a good way to do that. Definitely. Don't like skipping the first card award, so Headbutt's perfectly fine here. Deals damage, puts a card back on top. We can use that to recur an important card that was three costs the first time we saw it. Or just whatever our most impactful card is. And it does 9 damage itself, so it's not too bad. I'm surprised when there's no Nilri's Codex pop-up between turns there. Oh, uh, what? Really? This hand? Really? Bummer. Can't kill, can't block. The Sneko Curse strikes. Guess I'll block 5. Could backfire, though. Okay, we're out of here. But we get a Sneko Oil, a very good potion with the Sneko Eye. And an Uppercut is a very good first attack card. Feel No Pain's also, of course, a very tempting card with Clad in general, but we should probably take this Uppercut first. And yeah, I'll keep taking fights here. It says two. That means you click it. That's the rule. And now, none of these say two. Although this one says AoE, which is good enough reason to add it. Cleave. We have a way to deal with four slimes or five gremlins. Rather, the other way around. Five slimes or four gremlins. <clears throat> Evolve for Hexaghost is also okay, but not that necessary when we draw seven cards per turn. How's it going, Faley? Yes, once again, the curse strikes, and you have won all the points by accident. Well done. With well done. Hit the front one here. Even though we could have blocked one by hitting the back one, I wanted to make sure I could kill the front one on this turn. Second win. This card is very good with Sneko Eye. The more cards we draw, the more cards we have in hand. And the more cards second win can exhaust on average. Same is true of armaments, but the armaments would require an upgrade first. Which I'm not currently willing to give it. And we get to heal 25 by eating a banana all the way up to full health. Or we can take 5 max health, because with Hexagos coming up, we're confident that we're not going to need the additional 20. And I think that's actually what we want to do here is donut over banana, even though we are missing 25 HP. I want the donut. 
it really hits the spot. Another Sneko start? It's True Storm. I don't know how it keeps happening, but it keeps happening. And I'm not going to complain about it. Bananas are for suckers, that's what I've learned. Incense burner. Every six turns gain one intangible and feed. Raise our max health permanently. Or carnage. No, we take the feed. We take the feed, and I'm going to upgrade the feed, because I feel good. Be real good. Self-forming clay. When we lose health, gain block on the next turn. One of my favorite clad relics. This might have saved our life in the heart fight of the previous run. Might have. Uh, great fight for feed. It's good in this fight, too. Hey. Does energy pod get me a feed here. In addition to saving 10, we do 13 plus 18. Yes. Let us energy pots. Delightful. It would have also been a reasonable time for the Sneko Whale. Prioritize killing uh, this one, actually, because of Incense Burner. Oh, well. Sundial I like quite a bit with the Sneko Eye. Every three times we shuffle our draw pile, we'll gain two energy. Do I want a Ghostly Armor? Not really. No, not really. I say we skip. Could upgrade my second wind. Could upgrade cleave, I suppose, but second wind feels pretty good. And I think we should go to a shop. We can look for a high cost card or something. Ow. Ow. Success. Yeah, let's hit one shot before Hexa here. We actually have to now. So we've committed. Upgraded defense make this fight quite a bit smoother. Tasty foe. Clear breathing. Or perfected strike. I guess perfected strike is okay. Not very good, but adequate. Still on the quest to hit 20 streak? We are. Although it doesn't always go well for us. I'll take a P-strike. I'll take a dual wield for sure. This card is busted with Sneko Eye. But what about Prismatic Shard? Prismatic Shard, Sneko Eye? That sounds kind of badass. And I'm on a zero streak, so... Let's do it. For the entertainment value. 
Who knows what we'll get now? R and Jesus take the wheel. I guess this is a good upgrade. Hopefully we'll find a meteor strike from the boss to improve our perfected strike. Uh, this might be an okay time to snack oil, actually. Not that good at this fight. Let's do it. It's a bit more like it. And headbutt. Headbutt. He strike. And we should be able to kill next time we see feed. Delicious. And nutritious. GG. Did you know that I play games other than Slay the Spire? It's true. Catch me over on Baylor Lord Plays for card games, RPGs, strategy games, and more. Speed Fire goes with Sneko Eye. No Meteor Strike here, sadly. Just two Ironclad cards and a Fission. But I'll take a Fiend Fire. Hellpent with 15 months, our 15-month child is becoming old and is ready for retirement. Hmm. Joker's a bit odd, but I don't mind it that much with Sneko Eye. Only breaks certain cards. Philostone's the other decent option. One energy per turn, but enemies gain one strength. I guess I'm not that afraid of strength on enemies. How high have we gotten on our streak so far? We've hit, in, we've hit 10 wins twice now. Which I'm reasonably happy about. Hmm. But how strong are we really? Well, that's just too much damage. I'm going to eat you. Wonderful. White noise. And a random ironclad power to your hand. It costs zero this turn. This could be free barricade, free demon form, free corruption, free dark embrace. Let's try that. That's kind of cool. Uh, Dex potion's not terrible, but I'm going to go fear pot because we can kill stuff fast. Yeah, it'll, it'll always be ironclad. I was debating going to that shop anyway. Now I have good reason to. Give me a relic. Oh, worth it. Bag of prep plus a writhe. Now I don't even need to remove the writhe if I don't want to. Excellent.
Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. I'm allowed to see what white noise is first. All right, I think we just fiend fire and kill. Yeah. Skip the feed this time. Too spooky, man. Phantasmal Killer. Next turn, your attacks deal double damage. Okay. Sounds good to me. Ooh, Chemex. A real Dark Embrace, too. Real Dark Embrace looks very nice. We have Fiend Fire, we have Second Wind. Yeah, I'll take a real Dark Embrace, and I can afford to remove the Curse, too. Let's do that. Art of War, not so bad, either. Dark Embrace is the perfect shade of not green. Is it now? Might mean missing feet sometimes, though. This might be Dark Embrace Fiendfire. Pretty lame turn otherwise. We take a lot of damage next turn. I think we have to skip this feat as well. With this draw. Just too much damage. There's that free demon form. It does work. Reflex Finesse Blur. I'm gonna grab a blur here. Being able to retain block is a pretty cool secondary. Pedro Biagioni, thanks for the 26 months of sub ports. Four energy. One from Fiend Fire, zero from Strike, zero from Bash. Phantasmal Killer, Perfected Strike, Headbutt. Okay, so we can do some hot nonsense, and I like it. Really hot nonsense. I'm going to Peace Strike here. Bash here. Strike, Headbutt here. Headbutting, Phantasm uh, headbutting Perfected Strike, rather. And then playing Phantasmal Killer to make that Perfected Strike deal double damage next turn. Oh, and we can Fiend Fire at the end for fun. So now P-Strike deals 72 damage. Seems good. Strikes deal 18. We always feed next turn. Great fight. Deck Doobie Slappin'. A smooth stone for dex, a bias cog for focus? I don't think so. Dupe pot is pretty strong though. Dupe. Uppercut, dupe. Phantasmal killer. Dupe the audience. Probably upgrading fiend fire next, yeah? Got several energy upgrades that don't do anything when upgraded. Phantasmal Killer, White Noise, Dark Embrace. So yeah, it's probably Fiend Fire we need to upgrade next. Sounds good to me. Might go for this Burning Elite. No, it's not a super-powered Book of Stabbing. But whatever that's worth. That's a pretty sad uh, draw, though. Let's lose the Dark Embrace. Play the Uppercut. Full block. Hmm. 
Okay. You can stab me three times. That's fine. I don't want fiend fire next turn. Hmm. Seems like trouble. So we want uppercut next turn, no matter what. <clears throat> Ever built a claw deck in a character other than the defect? I mean, I barely build claw decks on the defect. No, I, I don't think I have. Do not think that I have. Six. Dupe would be too much. I can do Perfected Strike, 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 Feed. That would be 36 plus 18 plus 18, which is 36 plus 36. That kills. Wonderful. We get nine gold per card we add, and we get a Leg Sweep, which is a very good block card here. 11 block in two turns of weak for a base of two energy. Sneko says, heck yeah. Actually, 12 block with the smooth stone. Even better. We get Akabeko, making our first attack each combat deal eight more damage. Decent enough with Fiendfire. Makes our turn one Fiendfire really slap. Turn one Fiendfire, that was your cue. I've got to play Cleave. Weak. Weak, I say. Running Elite next floor, I definitely don't waste the dupe pot now. You're telling me uppercut feed would kill it. I think I'm a sucker for feed then. Alright, 13 plus 9 plus 18. 21 plus 18. Wait, that's only 39. Wait, no. 22 plus 18. That's 40. I really can't math today. Or any day, any day, really. Ow. But also, ow right back at ya. Strength? Kind of lame strength, but it still multiplies with PK and the Voln, so it's absolutely huge. We have Burner set up for the Burning Elite. Come on, slavers. Dang it. Attack me turn one. Dang it. Again. I guess we found a situation where Blur can play. Now let's go Bash, Blur, Second Wind. Hit me. Thank you. Now, did I actually want this? Who knows? Doesn't matter. P-Strike Defend, or do I Dark Embrace? I think I just P-Strike Defend. I'll block that hit. Here's Fiendfire. Seven. That might be worth it. I'm 
gonna try for it. Tasty. Get Red Skull for strength below half health. Or an influence. Can make ironclad attacks. Don't think I want metallicize or dagger spray. Akabeko is not powerful enough for this, right? No way. Oh well. Okay, okay, that's fine. Seventy seven? Nailed it. With Sneko, this kind of card could be useful, because the more cards you draw, the more likelihood some or all of them are zero cost. We'll take a skim. It's especially good if we get corruption from the white noise. I'll take an event here. Axmalon, thanks for the 10 months of support. Once again, when it rains, it pours. Here's the Coliseum. We were knocked unconscious, giving us the chance to earn 100 gold and two relics I was supposed to play that blur first wasn't I oh well good stuff We always feed. That's the Sundial back to zero. That's fine, though. Well done, weakling. The giant mock claps while he riles up the crowd with exaggerated gestures, which presumably are too rude to describe. Let's fight again. This time, a Taskmaster and a Gremlin Knob. Look at you. <laughs> what a hand, right? All right, so which potion do I use here? Is the question. I, I can just double uppercut, kill the knob, right? Mm -hmm. The Sneko Tax. Or we could just uppercut the knob and pass. That's also kind of acceptable. I'm just going to double uppercut. We'll try to feed on this guy. Pretty funny. Not how that usually goes. Then, doubly not how that usually goes. I get back around.
Definitively, maybe. Have I ever died in the Colosseum? I'm pretty sure I have. Especially back when it was two gremlin knobs. We certainly died to that a couple of times. Red Needle plus Gremlin Horn. Quite a pair of relics. We start combat with plated armor, and we draw a card when an enemy dies, and we get 100 gold, and we get our duplication potion back, and we get a warship. Gain five mantra. If we play this card twice, or once with dupe pot, then we enter divinity stance, dealing triple damage for the rest of the turn, and gaining three energy. That's kind of cool. Religious Ironclad, go. Yeah, with Phantasmal Killer, we can do some really stupid stuff. Some hilariously stupid stuff. Um, which I guess I'm going to do next turn. Oh my god. <laughs> this is going to be great. Click. It's three costs this time. Is it worth it? We'll have four energy left. Strike will do 81 damage. Boom. GG, nerd. Get eight. Interesting. Random colorless card, huh? I don't think so. I don't think we want any of these. They're not quite where it's at. Some of the boss rewards of all time. But Black Star give us extra relics from elites that we kill. Could instead go for Sacred Bark, Double Strength Potions, or Sozu, no more potions, but yes, more energy. I think I like Black Star just fine. Loading up on relics for the late game here. Why does the champ not wear jeans? Because he couldn't find them in, in his Metellus eyes. I like that. Go to an early shop-ish. What are we prioritizing here in Act 3? Art rewards, I guess. Lots of fights is good. Path is pretty okay. I think it's more events. No, I want more fights. Fights are feed, fights are card rewards. thinking that I might not get defeat on this enemy. Certainly is the case here. Mental Fortress. <laughs> Normally a block card I'm really excited by. This clad can't really uh, do that. Rebound is interesting. I like Rebound here. 
like headbutt, but a little bit different. And with the with the um, worship specifically, I want a way to do that. So I'll take it. Oh, what? That's fine. Math is hard. Dear Math, why are you so hard? It's got to be the final one for the feed to work in that fight. Zero, zero, zero. Kind of cool to be offered all of these. Not with Sneko, though, of course. Transient. Unlikely that I can eat the transient, but I'll do my best. to get Phantasmal down? Probably not worth it. so I can play Worship. Okay, not that bad. GG. Pretty clean transient fight. Chaos, Body Slam, Havoc. Econ Artist says, are there any question mark rooms that turn into elite rooms, meaning Black Star slash Preserved Insect proc, other than Dead Adventure? The second fight of the Colosseum counts as a elite as well. I think that's the only other one. Dead Adventure and Colosseum. Coliseum is unique in that it's both a regular fight room and an elite fight room, which is quite odd. You don't get extra relics from Blackstar from any event, but the Sling of Courage, the Preserved Insect, and the Slaver's Collar will all activate. Yeah, I'm, uh, uh, Twitch chat saying it before I can. We can mirror any card here. What about Worship? 
Then we can instantly enter Divinity, gaining a big boost of energy and dealing absolutely enormous damage suddenly. I love that. I love that a lot. I like Potion Belt as well. I don't have that many floors to collect potions, but we should be able to get quite a few. Let's do that also. And I could additionally remove a card, which is not a bad idea. Strike Remove seems really, really smart, actually. Let's do that, too. Really good shop. There's a relic here, not the intended relic for this act. So we can skip the, saf the meat on the bone for the Sapphire Key, and I think we should. Because I really doubt we're going to take that much damage. We can pick up whatever this relic is. I'm just going to hit you now. Thank you for not killing me on this turn. Alright, now you're doing it, which just makes sense. damage here. So I could headbutt still chaos a card if I wanted to. None of them feel sufficiently impactful. I'll just take this damage. It's fine. It's fine. Ink Bottle draws us cards. Boat Thingy gives us block. Glacier also gives us block and Frost Orbs, one of which evokes immediately. So this is 12 block plus 2 block per turn, which is very good. I like that. Delicious peppermint candy. More potions. Garbage. enemy could curse us. I'm hoping they don't. That's not a good turn one, though. Yikes. Let's don't do that. Um, yeah, that one's good. That's the one. That's the lowest damage attack it has and the best possible outcome this turn. So we will not attack it further. Better be one hell of a strike. Thanks. Actually, it's fine. We block that much. Okay, good talk. All right, we can easily kill with Warship Fiendfire, but that doesn't give me a feed. It does not get me a feed. This gets me a feed. Nice. One more perfected strike? That doesn't seem particularly worthwhile. Nah. 
Yeah, ornamental fan for skipping the meat on the bone. <clears throat> Giving us block for playing three attacks in one turn. That's not too bad. And we still have four relics headed our way here. At least hopefully. From two more elite fights. Ho ho ho. 18 times 8 is almost enough to KO you. Wait, how does it work with the ink bottle? Do I draw the card first? No, I draw it after. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. I'll take 16 here. You've only made me angrier, after all. Uh-oh. Okay, now I have to use a potion, right? Seems like Distilled Chaos is the play. There's no fiend fire in there anyway. Isao, thanks for the 16 months of support. Yeah, there we go. We play Worship so we can Worship, and then Feed does 81 damage. Grumlin Horn goes crazy. Blue Candle means we can play Curse cards. Interesting. Mango is even more max health. These are bad with Sneko. Might rest before the boss gauntlet. I do like upgrading Leg Sweep. Our other upgrades aren't very good, huh? Upgrade Leg Sweep. Hmm. By fiend fire, we miss the feed. I'm okay with that. Too much damage to ignore. Play a power card, channel lightning. Or sever soul for more ways to, to delete cards in the hand? I don't think so. I don't think so. All right, our last elite. Going to yield two more relics. It's Nemesis the rematch. Don't have a very good turn one here. That's a really bad Phantasmal Killer draw, sadly. Guess we just wait. Do something like worship Akabeko. Super damage next turn. But playing uppercut is tempting. What uppercut? Rip Akabeko. Seventy-two. Boom. Delicious. Get unceasing top bronze scales. Relatively unlikely unceasing top bronze cards. Although it could with the fiend fire. Take a sentinel here. The bronze scales is more universally useful. I am going to rest, just for safety here. Although I'd rather rest going into next act. This could be a chance to upgrade Sentinel or Skim. Surely I don't need more than 80 health. Let's upgrade Sentinel and rest in Act 4. To go to full health. There's no way I die. No way. Famous last words, I know.
Hmm. Don't play this. Free block. You'd love to see it. That said, I don't think I get the luxury of feeding here. We gotta play Fiend Fire. form. Alright, kill Donu next turn. Not that we necessarily needed to. Actually, better yet, Phantasmal Killer this turn. Do sextuple damage next turn. with bonus energy. So Uppercut deals 138 damage. Perfected Strike deals 150. Regular Strike deals 96. That's a lot of damage. It's struck for 96, I guess. GG. And now Tim. Tim the Time Eater. If only he knew that he would meet a similar fate. I'll let PK go, though. I'm sorry, PK. But not sorry. I am not at all sorry. Bye. We lived. How cute. But feed then. Gim. Strike. Feed. Although I probably should have set up Incense Burner. Turn two is fine. Or turn three is fine, rather. We kill uh, Spire Shield quickly. We deal 2349 damage. The heart squirms and bleeds, but is ultimately still pounding. Okay, here in Act 4, the plan is to rest to full health. We're missing 22 hit points. No way. Unacceptable. And. Waffle, Helix. That's a really good blood potion. A really good blood potion. We could do blood potion flame barrier. What is the number based off of? The damage to the heart at that cutscene there. That is your score for the run. Is there a certain score threshold where I feel like I've beaten the heart automatically? Only if I'm hitting for over 3,000 on that screen, but that doesn't really happen. If I've got three pages of relics, I feel like I'm winning pretty decisively. Yeah, next turn would have been good for intangibility. That's okay. We have other options. We have other options. Two costs. So I could Divinity P Strike. That's not very good, though. Bash. Okay, this turn could be awkward. Hoping we can kill, but yeah. There's nothing that says we have to be able to do that. Sad. 
Okay, well, I think it worked out, though, as we basically full block this, and next turn we're intangible. Just play white noise. Oh, well, that's even better. Now I have corruption. Ho, ho, ho. Oh. Convenient. My turn wasn't over. And I'm still divine. Uh, we do want to make sure that we set Incense Burner correctly, though, and five ain't hit, so let's stop here. We want it on four? Probably we want it on four. Focus. No. Wait, you're gonna have 99 block. I didn't think about that. Mm -hmm. No again. Wait, garbage. Oh, that was terrible, actually. This number's not acceptable. Yeah, that's bad. Should have killed on three. Um, hmm. Are there strategies other than Claw and Power Dex for the robot? You want more variety in your runs? Definitely. Uh, reprogram can work quite well. I found Reprogram plus several copies of Hologram to work quite well overall. I'll just bail out here. Pocket Watch, Barricade. I think we're fine. Yeah, I think we're fine. Seems good. this at the beginning. Okay, this seems fine. Brutality with the self-forming clay is good. Almost worth, worth an energy potion for Flame Barrier, but I don't think so. Time to get sponged. Boom. By 15 strikes again. This time we can Flame Barrier. Is there any desire to playing Warship? I don't think so. Oh, I see. It's 100 damage back. 
Which also makes worship kind of bad on this turn. Delete it all then. Keep all that block. Worship, go! Excellent. Now for one final meal. GG. Delicious. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And don't forget to check out Baylor Lord Plays for variety content. Click the blue Baylor icon to subscribe.